And they're off. That's Cantab Hall going for the lead. Castle of Fortune left along the inside, Uncle Vernon. And on the far outside, Rocky Balboa. They race into the first turn. And it's Castle of Fortune who has the early lead. Up on the outside, here comes Cantab Hall into second. Uncle Vernon is third by two and a half. Justice Hall is fourth. On the inside, Coventry is fifth. Parked in sixth and moving up is Rocky Balboa. Rose Run Fastball is seventh as Cantab Hall has made the lead. Double Helix is eighth by two and three quarters. Skywatch is the trailer. First quarter, 28 and two fifths. Making a break past the quarter was Rose Run Fastball. Rose Run Fastball has made a break. They head to the three-eighths mile marker and it's Cantab Hall on top by a length and three quarters. Castle of Fortune in line for a perfect trip and is second by three and a quarter. Uncle Vernon is third by two. Justice Hall's on the inside and fourth and could be flushed to the outside by a parked out Rocky Balboa who is fifth. And now Justice Hall is on the move to the half and he's uncovered. The half was due in 57 seconds. 28 and three for the second quarter. Cantab Hall in control of the tempo. Leads it by a length and a quarter. Up on the outside, Justice Hall moves into second. Castle of Fortune in the pocket in third. Rocky Balboa second over in fourth. Uncle Vernon's on the inside fifth. Up on the outside, Coventry's third over in sixth path. On the outside, Double Helix is seventh. Along the inside, it's Sky Watch as the field turns for home. Step far back, Rose Run fastball. Three quarters, 126 flat. 29 seconds for the third quarter. They have to catch Cantab Hall, and he accelerates. He leads it by two lengths. Racing in second is Justice Hall. On the outside, Rocky Balboa is trying hard. Far outside, Coventry dropping back. Castle of Fortune at mid-stretch. It's Cantab Hall, the leader by two and a half lengths. Justice Hall in pursuit, but it's futile pursuit. It's Cantab Hall. He wins this one easily. Justice Hall second, tight for third between Coventry and Rocky Balboa in 155 flat. National Thrill Colton Gelding Trot, and that's six, Cantab Hall. Undefeated last year, the Colt at three wins his fourth race in 13 starts. He's a three-year-old son of self-possessed out of the Garland Low Belmare Canland Hall, owned by Brittany Farms, Lindy Racing Stable, Jerry Silva, and the Sampson Street Stable, trained by Ron Gerfine, driven by Hall of Famer Michelle Lachance. Cantab Hall, a winner in 155 flat pushes his seasonal earnings well over $900,000 and now his career earnings over a million four. For driver Michelle Lachance, this is his third American National Thrill Colt Stake 